Jack Carr and I had this conversation on his podcast once where he was we were talking about the 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 reader re- or the viewer reviews of our shows Terminalist and Gray Man yes. and then the the like professional reviews or whatever and yes. and the the people that watched it loved it overall the reviewers hated it but i mean they're going to hate stuff like that of uh, course i mean to a large degree not not everything you know there's some things that that you know somehow universally love but i but i said to jack i was like which would you rather have the 23 reviewers all love it or the you know 100 million, million people that watch it lo- watch it yeah 100% yeah, that's yeah. a great way to look at it yeah. you know who's a good example of that is that adam sandler adam oh, sandler's yeah, yeah. movies all get destroyed by the critics yeah yeah but i think they're fucking yeah, great I, mean, I love his they're so silly and yeah. i love that i watch them with my kids yeah and they're, they're like they're easy to digest like even the zohan which is like a little mm-hmm. racy mm-hmm. hilarious yeah yeah gets torn apart by the critics yeah and i think his stuff does really well and of course and, it does and and he's just doing something different than what the, the critics i remember uh david lee roth once said the reason that um you know, like critics all hated him and they all loved Elvis Costello's because all the critics look like Elvis Costello, <laughs> which ah. I don't know if that's true. <laughs> well, that is a part of it, right? Elvis Costello was like the nerdy guy with the glasses yeah. and he wasn't the good looking guy who had all the chicks with him yeah. with his open shirt. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And David Lee Roth was this stud who was yeah. doing karate kicks on stage. There's, and... Yeah, there's there's sour grapes involved at, at certain places. In certain places. I mean, be, people can hate my books for a million different reasons and, and that doesn't make them wrong. But, uh, but it's also the narrative of the critic was always so much more important than it is now because yeah. now the narrative of the critic gets g- drowned out by the narrative of the fans yeah ab- absolutely for better or worse and i think it's for better yeah because you you get people that aren't professional critics you just get informed readers who yeah. enjoy it or don't enjoy it and yeah. then they share that that like whenever i go to an amazon book review and i click on the reviews i just read the reviews like some of them are remarkably well written yeah. you know oh yeah you you see people that are passionate about yes. your even if even if they're criticizing something yes. um you know i i always had this philosophy it's like if you read my book if you if you spend the 12 hours to read that book or whatever it takes it's like you get to you get to share your opinion with whoever you want yes. you know it's like i i can't begrudge that um sometimes i'll disagree with what they say sometimes i'll agree with it the worst um negative reviews are the ones where it's like oh this guy this guy He's got it. You know, I He's like right. I yeah. like it when they're just assholes. <laughs> you know, or they're just like, oh, this guy's just this guy's nobody. Yeah. But then sometimes you're going like, oh, he sees me. He he sees the dark. But those underbelly. guys are really good because like they, the, the if someone who can really see it and yeah. they, they expose something that makes you uncomfortable, that yeah. gives you an opportunity to get better. Yeah, yeah. To think about it. And, yeah. And that, that does happen to me for sure. Yeah. I feel like the real problem with critics is that most critics wish they were writers but they just don't have anything to contribute. They're mm-hmm. just not good. And yeah. so they try to tear down other people's work, whether it's film critics or movie critics or even stand-up comedy critics. They're just, they just they don't have anything to contribute, yeah. so they're bitter and negative. Yeah. They don't want to be critics. Like Nobody sits out and says, like, I really want to be a critic of other people's work. Yeah. No, most people that are critics, like when you're writing an article, a criticism article, or writing a, an editorial, you are a creative, you're being creative, yeah. but the predominant creativity involved in criticism is like this negative, bitchy, creative right. energy yeah, yeah. that's not attractive if you're trying to make something. Yeah. It's only attractive when you're tearing something down. Absolutely. So the energy that these people have, this like bitter, shitty energy, yeah. it sucks for writing something unique and, indivi- like, and creative, like coming up with your own book. Yeah. But it's good for tearing apart other people's stuff in a really like snarky way. Yeah, I've been saying that for years and years, but never as eloquently. I, I, like I'm gonna I'm gonna watch this later and write down what you just said Be- because I I have said like you you'll read a review and just to make the review a better little piece of writing for them, they basically change the story. You know, yes. like you know, there there's basically yes. really disingenuous stuff in there. Right. Not every review, obviously. But um but that happens sometimes. And I'm going like, oh okay, I as a writer, I know how you wanted to make these two paragraphs like like really impactful here. So you just told some bullshit about my story that it's not even in the story. Right. Yeah. yeah. They're just not good. Yeah. It's what it is. You're 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 getting it's it's like non athletes 
talking shit about athletes. Yeah. Like you get that in the sports world. Yeah. You yeah. get like these basketball commentators online yeah. and then like doing podcasts and doing these shows where they're just talking crazy shit about these players right. and they can't fucking play. Yeah. Yeah. They're not players. Yeah. You get that in the fighting world too. You get these people that are talking shit about fighters and like you can fight. <laughs> yeah. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, they they can be proved wrong a lot faster <laughs> than than, than somebody could prove a, yeah. a, a a critic wrong about writing. Yeah. Yeah, the the writing thing though, it's I mean, that's it's a human nature thing. It's a tall poppy thing. You know, it's uh, crabs in a bucket, tearing down people that yeah. are more successful than you. If you're, you, especially if you're a critic, you are a writer. Yeah. You're involved in the genre of writing. Yeah. Don't tell me you don't want to write something unique and creative because you certainly yeah. do. Yeah. 